question. Joe, I think you were the first one. Yes. The history of the hikers, when did the hitchhikers begin? And who were the first members of the band? The original hikers were me, my brother Dennis, and the fat kid down the street, Frank Morana. Right? <laughs> Affectionately known as the Fran. The Fran. Later. Right? We would call him and, weight uh, challenged. <laughs> and and that's, that's how it began. And, and what was the first gig that the hikers ever played? Uh, no gigs. No gigs. Yeah, no gigs. <laughs> <laughs> Never named them. The first two members were these two guys, Ray Duffy, Carl Wigan. Ray, how did you? How did Joe approach you to join the hikers? Did you answer an ad? Well, he said we're going to play a gig and we're not going to tell the friend. So <laughs> you can be the banjo. Player. You're going to sneak up on them? Did they uh, did? Was that Joe? Fran was the very first person that I ever knew that owned a Vega banjo. Wow. Right, but it All was right. a short so neck Ray interloper type. So then banjo. Ray replaces the Fran. Well, I had the long neck banjo, of course. And, uh, Which was more trio, right. more right. stew. Right. Or Dave Gard at that time? or Yes, uh, Dave Gard. Well, actually, no, it was stew no, by that time. All right, so tell the story here. Your first gig where the Fran shows up. Well, they didn't have the heart to tell Fran he wasn't in the band anymore. <laughs> And we had practiced a few times, and we, we played at St. Ambrose. That's why you need management. Down in the uh, auditorium. The and he uh, got wind of it, and he, uh, he was peering through the window watching us play. <laughs> oh, God. And then he uttered the famous words, you two faces rat. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, Amundo. You two faces rat. And I admitted it. <laughs> but at the same time, I knew he was moving to North Jersey. It would be pretty tough practicing. <laughs> So, what, Carl, what was your role in the band? What my was your, my what role was, was uh, I was uh, I was the uh, the sex symbol in the band. <laughs> you replaced Dennis then, apparently. I replaced Dennis. I was the sex symbol. I had long sideburns, curly hair, emulating uh, our hero Bob Shane. And that's okay. What it was. And did, what guitar were you playing at that time? Uh, a harmony. <laughs> <laughs> a harmony software. <laughs> no, you don't knock it. We all started that's on true. that. Yeah, yeah, that one that one one of a harmony software. Like, like a Martin. That's what we bought it, yeah. For the price, 80 bucks, I think I paid. Uh, Michael, your role in the band. When did you join the band? I got the call. I sent my tapes in for years. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard from them. The phone rang. And uh, I think it was, uh, it might have been Carl. And he said, we just lost Ray. I said, what do you mean you just lost him? He just got drafted. Are you interested? And I said, well, let me talk to my people. <laughs> Ray, you got drafted in the middle of the hikers' peak of their heyday? Yep. Unfortunately. What, what, what year was that? What year was that? 1966. Wow. Yes. Yeah, but then you went out and bought a uh, long neck banjo. I think I went out and got... I, I remember it. I, s I managed to uh, come into some money around this time. <laughs> I purchased a, a banjo, which I couldn't play. But it looked They great. told me just stand there. Joe and Carl, it was their show. And they made it very clear that I was... <laughs> like Nick and Bob. I was to be a prop. They were very complex melodies, these songs were... <laughs> You had to really know your Two, guitar. sometimes three chords. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we'd actually go beyond the third fret. <laughs>
Stop! 